Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. First of all, the doctrines and principles of Scripture transcend all culture and all times. The way those doctrines may be applied, or the way that those doctrines may um, be practically expressed in a given situation, sociologically, culturally, etc., that may vary. But the principles will always be the same. For instance, in the book of Acts alone, we see three models of ecclesiastical polity, three models of church government and of ecclesiology. We see the primordial apostolic model in Jerusalem. We see the Antiochian model, and then we see the model we find in the Greek churches of a more charismatic nature. But the doctrines and the principles remain the same in all of them, even though the practical ecclesiology may have varied. When it was a situation in China during the uh, era of Mao Zedong and the Cultural Revolution, when every pastor, every male, basically, who was a Christian, was imprisoned or sent to a prison farm, women were meeting in small groups and they were praying and they were praying for their husbands and sons who were in prison and fathers who were in prison and so forth. They were about the only Christians who were not in prison or in threat of being in prison were women on a very, very wide scale. Female leadership emerged, but it was leadership of other women. <laughs> Today, when you see women with unsaved husbands in certain areas where they can't find the biblically based church, well, they should meet in a home. Nobody says women cannot serve as an interim leadership and teach doctrine to other women. But no place in Scripture do you see God usurping male authority. As far as these women saying, Jesus is my covering, they're babbling foolishness. It is just foolish babbling. That is not what Scripture says. The husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. This is what God ordained from the book of Genesis chapter 3 following the fall. Leadership was to be male because of female vulnerability to spiritual seduction. We see the same thing in 1 Corinthians. That is the meaning of the head covering under male protection. I'm tired of these silly women wasting our time with their nonsense. It is simply the feminism of the secular world coming into the church. Now, you know, I know many gifted women, women who God uses. I know some of the precept women trained up by Kay Arthur. I know Joanna McKenson. I know Carol Matriciano. When I talk to women like this, who really have discernment and a lot of experience in leadership among women and who have a very solid grasp of scripture and doctrine. They're not into this feminist nonsense and they're not into this garbage, oh, Jesus is my covering, I don't need a man. That is just rebellion masquerading as spirituality. Really spiritual women adhere to the principles of God's word. There are many women I respect who are gifted who God uses but they function scripturally with their heads covered. You just look at them, they go crazy. Look at what Joyce Meyer has engendered. Look at the error and deception that came from that woman. Look at Paula White, Juanita Byram. Look at that crazy woman, Deborah in South Africa, calls herself Deborah, the, the discerning the world. These women are, they're, they're heretics and liars, some of them. It is not of God. I have a tremendously high view of a number of women I know God has used. I've named a few of them. They're not like that. It's always the ones who don't know anything and think they do who are like that. That is the reality. Sorry to be so firm, but I'm 
absolutely exhausted readdressing the same subject. It's become rather boring. I'm not going to pander to this nonsense anymore because I don't believe it is a constructive use of God's time or the time of our listeners. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless and thank you. <laughs>